29 chief secretary is, who was secretly filmed, uh, you know, promoting fossil fuel deals. We'll talk more about that in our subsequent, uh, you know, engagement, Esther. Thank you so much, uh, Esther. Life for us in Baku, Azerbaijan. But now, as what leaders convene in Azerbaijan for the United Nations Climate Change Summit, environmental advocates are closely examining recent development from the U.S. presidential election that could significantly influence global climate efforts. This comes just as a climate action initiative in Lagos focuses on addressing the urgent need for climate education and awareness. Gloria Tonda reports. Gathered here are environment volunteers, activists and public officials for the closing ceremony of a climate education project. Do we actually have this first of its kind initiative aims to equip individuals with knowledge and skills needed to tackle climate challenges and adopt sustainable lifestyle. In our society, in the schools, to the fact that they did not understand what climate change was all about. And so we deem the fit to make sure that they are empowered and educated with the requisite knowledge and skills to thrive for a sustainable future. By fostering knowledge, curiosity and critical thinking, we empower the youth to become advocates of sustainable practices and bold innovations in their own communities. Meanwhile, the environmental community is keeping a close watch on the outcome of the recent United States presidential election. With Donald Trump now confirmed as the winner, there are growing concerns over his stance on climate change and the possible impact his policies might have on global environmental efforts. Climate change is real. We've seen that with the heavy rains and the floods uh, all over Lagos. So it's not just any story. It, it is unfortunately touching us really where it hurts. The Netherlands has a strong commitment to advancing sustainability both within our borders in the Netherlands and also globally. As a country that faces unique environmental challenges, we understand the importance of innovative collaborations, approaches to climate action. As the climate education project wraps up, the message here is clear. Promoting environmental awareness, especially among the youth, is key to fostering a culture of sustainability. We need this to move as fast as possible, as Mr. Bankole said, little drops of water. These little drops of water need to move very, very fast. Why? Because there are, you know, fundings, there are access, there are, you know, plethora of opportunities and benefits that we are leaving on the table because we do not understand, you know, the operationalization and the modules of what we're doing. Advocates believe that through collective action, there is hope in the ongoing fight against climate change. Now to Ekiti State, where Governor Biodo Yabanji has won in Justice Lekon Ogumoye as the acting chief judge of Ekiti State. This follows the death of the former state's chief judge, Justice Adewale Adeyaye, on the 4th of November at the age of 64. Justice Adewale Adeyaye was appointed chief judge of Ekiti State in October 2021, a role in which he served with distinction until his passing. The governor ch uh, charges the acting chief judge, uh, judge to ensure swift delivery of justice in the state. Five days to the governorship election in Ondo State and the Inspector General of Police, Kaudi Egbetokun, has banned the Western Nigeria security network known as Amotekun and vigilante calls for, uh, from participating in the November the 16th poll. In a statement by first spokesperson, ACP Olumuiwa Dijobi, the IGP ordered the deployment of officers from various specialized units, including the Special Intervention Squad, Police Mobile Force, Counter-Terrorism Unit, Special Protection Unit, Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit, and K-9 Unit, among others. IGP Egbetokun also directed that aerial patrols be conducted with the police helicopters and the state's waterways and river Rhine areas will be monitored through gunboats. According to the statement, only the federal security agencies and other members of the Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security will be allowed to participate in the election.
We're from on the state with a current hike in prices of commodities across the country. Islamic scholars are calling on the youth to take up leadership positions in their communities. This call was made at the colloquium to honor the memory of Islamic scholar Abdul Hakim Abayomi in Lagos State. Barakai Baremi has the details. Once again, thank you. Integrity is a watchword any leader in the society must live by. This was the submission of speakers at this program as the child leaders to take cue from Islamic principles to bring positive change to the society. Speaking on the theme, the ulama as vanguards for reforms, national renewal, and nation building, guest speakers stress the duty of teachers in building the next generation of leaders. These scholars can then engage with their local communities as community leaders and be able to address issues like poverty, educational welfare of their populace, healthcare, social justice. They can also be relied upon in conflict resolution and dialogue to foster peace, unity, and understanding within diverse groups. And put our people in place and let them acquire skills that the best of people should have. Just of education, just of health, put them in that they acquire these skills. When you have the acquire these skills, they can begin to effect a change in society. The role of youth in grassroots governance was also emphasized as speakers say youth must seek knowledge and skills for national development. They must participate, no doubt, and they need to be changed again because they are the highest stakeholder. They are the people today we look around that are jobless, that are searching for survival all over the whole place. And if the government is done right, some jobs will be created, some opportunities for them. So they need to participate. That is taken for granted. And then, against Islamically, they are under proportion to participate in the governance of their society by way of civic responsibility. Beyond that, also, they owe a duty of property and accountability. The role of scholars in the society is to ensure that they are able to speak truth to justice. They are able to stand firm for the poor and the downtrodden. And they must be active partakers in societal and communal engagement so that their impact is felt in the society. Organizers of this event believe citizenship participation in governance will in the long run lead to continuous growth for Nigeria. Adieu. In the Supreme Court, Judge,